Would you like to land your ideal job? I'll explain a process on how to do that in this video. Hello, I'm Steven Goldberg of Optimist Performance, bringing you practical tips on leadership, team development, and employee performance in the workplace. I know a lot of people have been looking to shift their careers or shift their jobs to something better, maybe a place where they could feel better appreciated or just a better work environment, whatever it is. During the pandemic is what we're going through now and have been going through. Uh, people have been making that shift. There's a lot of movement in the workplace. So I thought it would be a good time to share a process to landing your ideal job. And it starts really with planning. Now I've written a full article on this that you could consult to walk you through each step of the way. And I'm gonna to refer to this article as I go through the video to just uh, guide myself on what I wrote and the process. Uh, so the first thing I mentioned is to do uh, some research. Well, actually before the research is to prepare yourself to really know what you want because part of finding the ideal job is to attract it. And when you are clear within yourself of what you want to attract, of what you want to achieve, it becomes much easier. It's kind of like if you are looking to change your car and you've always loved a certain model uh, and a certain color and you think about that car in your mind, all of a sudden you start seeing that car everywhere you go, wherever you're driving, you start seeing that model, that different colors, and that really just motivates you more, really just uh, brings you more focused on achieving or having that, that car. And it's the same principle with whatever it is that you want to achieve, and especially a job. The first thing is getting crystal clear on what you want. And so in the article that I mentioned, there's a lot of questions that I ask. Things like, what uh, type of environment do you want? What does the workplace look like? Um, what are the people like that you want to work with? What does your workspace look like? What will you see when you look out the window? Will you see trees uh, or will you see buildings or homes? What's important to you? Where should it be located? Um, what feeling do you want to have when you're at work? And what do you want to be working on? You know, what are you really skilled at? What do you love doing? And maybe right now you're using your skills, but it's not really what you enjoy doing the most. So getting in touch with all those things is really important. And that's why I suggest going to my article. Uh, there's a link to it in the show notes or description of this video, and you can uh, walk yourself through that. And what I suggest you create is a vision board. And a vision board is something that will help you narrow your focus, help you visualize what that's going to look like. And you could put yourself in that vision. I'll explain. So once you go through the answers to the questions that I have in my article and that I just mentioned, you want to find the key points. Uh, and you want to write that down as a frame around a blank piece of paper, just like it's a frame for the pictures that are going to go inside, except the frame is really just words. And these words are the things that are going to motivate you, that are going to excite you about the workplace, about the job, and they should generate emotion. You don't want it just to be intellect, you want to engage your emotions, your physical state, your intuition, and make that frame something of significance. Then you want to find images either from the web or from magazines that reflect what you're looking for. So it becomes very visual and that also will bring up the emotion. 
And then you could cut out images of yourself and put them in the storyboard or the vision board as well. And that's really the first part of the process. But that could take you a few days because just answering the questions and getting clear on what you want, uh, you want to do it over a few days, come back to it, let it sit, see how it resonates with you, and really get in touch with what you're looking for, and then populate the vision board with some images. So that's part one. I suggest you do that, and then I'm going to make another video on what to do with, the, with this information or with this vision board, and I'll call that part two of finding your ideal job. So go ahead and do this exercise, and then come back to my next video where I'm going to walk you through part two. So. If you're not subscribed, I suggest you do now. Uh, turn on notifications so you do get uh, news of that upcoming video, part two. And check out some of the other videos on the channel. Uh, there's some related to this. There's one recommended for you right now. Give this a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk again soon.